but I'm really excited to see what the fuck I can do in the gym, people. Like, I know I'm strong, but with more food, just, just wait. Good morning and welcome back to a new video. Today, we're gonna do a what I eat in a day. But first, before we begin anything, I need coffee. And I need to wake up. <laughs> uh, usually in the mornings, um, Colin and Robin, they're still asleep, so I wake up Ari to go out for a walk with him and as soon as we're back home, he crawls back to bed. So now they are all three asleep and I have some time to do like my have my own morning routine. So I'm gonna go wash my face and then we're gonna get some breakfast ready um, and we'll see how far we get into the breakfast before Colin wakes up. So I see you in a bit. TV and the sofa, watch the news and eat my breakfast and drink my coffee. <laughs> Robin is always kidding with, you're so old, but I really truly love to sit in the sofa. Colin isn't awake yet, so I'm gonna just enjoy a little, uh, a long time before he wakes up. Anyway, for those of you who haven't seen my uh, previous, previous video, uh, I talked about that I am going to change my goals for the You vs. You challenge and these 60 days. Uh, first, from the beginning I wanted to just maintain and try to like build, obviously some, but um, I really want to like optimize, do you say optimize? I want to optimize the opportunities to build as much as I can. So, I am going to be on a calorie surplus during these 60 days and I have been now for um, yeah, the whole January, even though I haven't, like I didn't train in the beginning because I was sick. So yeah, uh, this will be a struggle, but I, I'm gonna rock it anyway, you know? I know it's just a few, a few days and these days with a calorie surplus will give me so much, so... Yeah, as I really feel comfortable in my body now, um, that's what's holding me back a little bit, if you know what I mean. But again, it's just a few, um, it's just a few days in my life, so I will push these sixty days as much as I can. Mm. And in today's video, I will show you. Hold on. Why do I eat when I when I talk? Every time. I'm hungry, that's probably why I'm gonna put that down. But in today's video, I'm gonna show you what I eat in a day in the calorie surplus. Trying to show you uh, how to eat in a healthy way when you're trying to eat in a calorie surplus, surplus or gaining weight. Um, I'm not gonna call it a bulk because I don't like that word. So I'm just simply going to say that I'm going to eat in a calorie surplus for a while and see what that brings me. The plate is up again. I am I'm really hungry. <laughs> so I'm going to eat this and then uh, I see you in a little bit when Colin is awake. Morning! Morning! It doesn't even make sense <laughs> why I think about you. Good morning! It was only one night, only that time, and it's not my style to be caught up in the middle like this. It's now I dream about you. I was probably too drunk, it's blurry, but I've got the image of you running circles in my mind right now. And it could fade away, but it probably won't, and I should let it be. But I'm gonna die. Dive into you And maybe I'll drown But what can I do? And it would be alright 
I really like this outfit on you. As I said, most of the clothes that I buy for him are from H&M and Sarah. <laughs> this one is... Colin, this one is a little bit too big for you. <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay. Okay, bye! <laughs> You can eat some breakfast. So the vlogging camera that I used to use when I'm doing these type of videos, uh, well, it sucks. So <laughs> I can't film with that one. Anyway, uh, hoping that Lorik will uh, uh, find a new one. If you know a good vlogging camera, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to have tips on which camera to use. And uh, not too much like... Uh, it, it, like, it can't be too much to learn because I'm really bad at technology. Technology? Yeah, anyway. We're in the car. I'm gonna go into town and I'm gonna train. I've been training at home in, in our home gym for, um, yeah, weeks. Uh, not that I'm complaining, it's just that I really want to see some other walls. Uh, use some other machines, stuff like that, so I'm really excited to get into town to uh, smash a back session today. When I've been training, we're going grocery shopping. Uh, as this camera is huge, it's gonna be really hard for me to film uh, in the store, so I'm just simply not gonna do it. Uh, I can show you when I'm home again uh, what we bought, or what I bought at the store. Uh, I've packed my lunch bag as uh, I need food direct, direct, directly after I've been training. You know how it goes. It goes food, it goes training, and it goes food again. That's how we roll. That's how we do it. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna give you more uh, when I'm eating lunch. We're gonna talk a little bit more about uh, just increasing calories and um, we're not actually gonna focus on calories. We're gonna focus on food. That's the main focus in this video. It's not about counting calories. It's not about uh, gaining weight or looking at the scale. We're just simply gonna talk about food and how the food is gonna help us um, optimize the possibilities to build muscles. So yeah. I see you when we're gonna eat some lunch. We're having the worst weather in Sweden right now. Like we had the snow, we had the minus degrees, which I love, and then the rain came. And like the plus degrees, you say plus degrees, anyway. Um, workout is done. I had some problems like getting warm uh, because it was really cold in the gym. So I had some problems with keeping the warm up. Uh, normally I do like one exercise and then I have to take my sweater off because I'm too warm But today I had it on like the whole session um, And it was like it was cold and I had problems getting warm and getting sweaty Which I also love when I train but yeah anyway it was a good workout um, I didn't film and record anything because it was Just it's not easy having this camera with me because it's too big um, so I simply didn't film anything, anything, but as you know, I'm doing the You vs. You guide from the own you app. So if you were interested in trying it out or any other guide, you have a seven days free trial. 
Now, let's talk food. I have some food with me. <clears throat> with me. Um, I don't know if you can see. I can't touch the camera because it's gonna fall. Oh. So we have rice, broccoli, and then kebab chicken. I don't know if you say chicken kebab. Kebab, not kebab. <laughs> chicken kebab. Kebab. Uh, anyway, it's freaking kebab and chicken in the same. Um, but it is really good. Like it tastes amazing. And for those of you who are wondering why I what, where and why, inte. Oh my God! I'm mixing English and Swedish. What the hell is happening? If you if you want to know where I bought this chicken, it's like from a big gro grossist grossist. Yeah, a big grocery store here in Sweden, which is called Snabb Grossist. It's really nice, and. What I love about this is that we can just take it out of the fridge and then put it in a, a box, meal prep box, and then it's like it's done. So I don't have to uh, like remake it or I don't have to cook it and get it ready to eat because it's already done. So when we talk about calorie surplus, we're not gonna focus on calories. We're gonna focus on like the purpose that we have with eating more calories. I am not gonna share what I like how much how many calories I eat during a day because it's not relevant because every single person is different. And what I want you to like what I want to show with this video is that we should not be afraid of food. Even though because I know that I would probably gain a little bit from this. Um, if I lose my abs, then I lose my abs. It's okay because I have a purpose. I'm really gonna try in this video to show you that it's okay. Maybe it's like other girls out there feeling the same as I do. Like you have a purpose or girls who want to gain weight but you don't know how to do it. Uh, I'm gonna try in this video to show you how simple it actually can be to eat more. And I'm not gonna say that, uh, I'm not gonna talk about calories, I'm gonna talk about nutrition. So I'm gonna say that, like, how I am gonna increase my calories is that I'm simply gonna eat more rice. I'm gonna uh, increase uh, the protein, the fat and the carbs in every meal that I eat instead of focusing on calories. Um, because I think it's so important that we learn about calories. And maybe if there are any other girls out there watching this video and feeling like, yeah, I wanna try to, I wanna try to gain weight. I wanna try to become stronger. And, <clears throat> sorry, you can build on a calorie deficit, but it's gonna be so much harder than eating in a calorie surplus. So I, as I told you, I wanna maximize and uh, like maximize my opportunities to be able to build more. Uh, and these 60 days will only be 60 days of my life. If I don't feel comfortable uh, like continuing this after, then I'm not gonna continue. Uh, this is a, like a learning process and I think it's so important for girls to actually try out something like this. And maybe you learn that, okay, I have been eating way too uh, less calories than I should and I have been eating way too little and than I should from the beginning. So, not from the beginning, but eating too less. Uh, and maybe this can like bring you more knowledge of that you actually can raise and increase your overall nutrition during one day. Um, so yeah, I really hope that this video will give, give you more confidence when it comes to food and um, yeah I don't know how these 60 days will change my body but I'm really excited to see what the fuck I can do in the gym people like I know I'm strong but with more food just just wait I'm so excited for those weights yesterday I I made like a personal best in hip thrust and it made me so happy
you know? That feeling, that's what I'm chasing. I want to like, I want to become stronger in the gym. And for myself, I know that I like, I need more food. So I'm simply going to raise the fat, the carbs and the protein in every meal I eat. I'm going to eat up. I'm not going to talk with food in my mouth. And then I'm going to go grocery shopping. I'm really late. <clears throat> I told Robin that I was going to be home by now. I'm not home by now. I will not be home by like one more hour. Did you buy some ketchup? Mm, I know mommy loves ketchup too. We're home from the grocery store, or we, I am home from the grocery store, and this is a little bit of what I got today. Um, I can't say that this is like a week of eating. It can be uh, half a week, it can be one and a half week. It depends a little bit on Robin, how much he, he wants to eat. Um, but this is basically what we always get. Um, so yeah, I love to have a filled up free, uh, freeze, freeze, no, fridge, fridge is the right word. And the reason why you don't see any meat on this table is because Robin pre prepared chicken yesterday. So we have two of these boxes filled with chicken in the fridge for when we are gonna eat. You know I love to prepare food and he does too. So we always have prepared chicken um, or fish in the fridge. So as I've already uh, ate my lunch, next uh, meal is gonna be a snack and that is what this little dude is gonna have his second nap. I always put him down at like four in the afternoon um, <laughs> to get his second nap. And then I uh, prepare a snack, I sit down and I get my work done as much as I can as uh, when he is asleep. So yeah, I see you when we are eating snack. I prepared my snack already and um, I always try to eat uh, per third hour. Sometimes it goes four hours, but most often it's three hours-ish um, between my meals. So if we have a fire, if we don't throw in more, more food, <laughs> more, that's actually right. If you don't throw in more wood to the fire, the fire will stop burning. And that's the same with your metabolism. I know I've said it before, but it's such a good metaphor to it, like as an example of how the body works. Um, for those of you who don't feel any hunger, that's probably why you're eating too less, too little of what you should be eating. So start by planning your day and at least eat four times a day, at least. Like a breakfast, a snack, a lunch, snack again, and then maybe dinner. Uh, if you eat, eat a, a late dinner or if you eat an early dinner, then you can, like the snacks are there to uh, help you during the day if you have breakfast, lunch, and dinner then you can mix and match between, like use the snacks so you don't go around feeling hungry. Or if you don't feel hungry, that's also a really good way of using the snacks to get your meta meta metabolism going. So this is my snack. Um, I, I, I made it a little Instagram friendly though. You have to give me that. Uh, but this is a bowl of low fat yogurt in the ground, you can't see it. <laughs> and then I have frozen berries. For those who doesn't like frozen berries, you can just heat them up in the microwave. And then I have some crisp bread that I just uh, smashed down. And then I have some um, cashew nuts, just natural cashew nuts. And then I have a whole banana. This will be my snack of today. I also uh, sprinkled on some honey because, you know, it's really nice and it's really yummy.
<laughs> this kitchen isn't the best when it comes to light. <laughs> anyway, Robin is home and it's time to eat dinner. Um, this video will not be a video where I am standing in the kitchen cooking food because I simply don't have time for that today. So that's why it's really uh, important that we food prep and that we have something in the fridge that you can just put on a plate in the microwave or in the oven and just heat it up and eat. Uh, that is something that is like a key for me and Robin during our uh, days because we always have to have food ready. We don't have the time to stand in the kitchen cooking every single meal. So like the day before we prepare extra chicken or extra rice so we have for a few days forward and uh, so we always have food prepared. Um, I always, uh, I also got a question if I don't use any sauce on my food. Uh, and uh, normally, like I don't, I don't cook like a creamy sauce because I want to eat. I want to be able to eat as, um, like, I want to be able to eat the nutrition instead of cooking uh, sauces with, you know, that contains a lot. I want to be able to eat the food instead. Um, so yeah. The only sauce that I actually use is this one, and um, this is both gluten-free and it's like um, no fat and no sugar in it. So this is a really good alternative, um, and I really like this taste of the spicy garlic. Um, if you haven't tried, this will be my food, um, if you haven't tried soya on, uh, on your broccoli and on your sweet potatoes, it's really, really tasty and really good. And you can probably, because this can also contain a lot of sugar, but I think that you can probably find, just read. Uh, that's the only thing that I'm actually checking on uh, different um, groceries. I can't find the word, you know what I mean. Check the list of the product to see if there uh, contains a lot of sugar. That's the only thing I'm actually checking. So yeah. I'm going to sit down and I'm going to eat and then I see you when we are preparing the last meal of today, which is also my favorite meal, as it is really tasty and it has peanut butter, which I really like. Uh, and I love to go to bed feeling full and satisfied because I always sleep so much better when I've just been eating before and there's nothing called like you have to stop eating like for a certain time before you go to bed. That's not like that's bullshit. So, the only thing that matters is what you eat during the whole day you are awake. So, yes. See you when we are doing, preparing the last meal. Are you done? Mm -hmm. <laughs> preparing the last meal before we're going to bed. Both me and Robin always eat before we go to bed. Mm. Do you want to go in? Mm? Do you want to go and sit down? No. Okay. Give us a kiss first. I need a kiss for the camera. Give me some love. Mm. Ah. You not gonna, you. <laughs> you're not gonna <laughs> leave me hanging. You. <gasps> you did it. Okay, it's out. Uh, I always want to show you something that actually helps me a lot with, uh, you know, when the sweet tooth kicks in. I make a really big glass, ice cold Pepsi, ice uh, buckets, not buckets. I'm not gonna put down a whole bucket. I put down down ice cubes in the glass to make it a little bit, you know, like shivery. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, this is my biggest addiction in life. Honestly, I'm not kidding. We drink so much Pepsi in this house. So Pepsi Max. Yeah, I really love it. Anyway, we're gonna prepare. Uh, again, so this will be, this will be like an acai bowl, but without the acai, acai, acai. You know what I mean. So instead of using the acai, acai, I am gonna use like the yogurt again. Uh, either frozen berries or heat them up, but I like like it when it's ice cold because it feels like a dessert in some kind of way. 
and then I use once again I like it the way it is crispy so I'm using crisps crisp bread again just smashing it all together in the bowl this is not gonna look pretty just so you know and then and then and then we have the topping I don't know what it is with this peanut butter but it is freaking good so I'm gonna use that and I'm gonna sprinkle it all bit over not sprinkle I'm gonna take a whole freaking spoon I'm gonna put it on top and then I'm gonna eat it so yeah I'm gonna show you in just a little bit uh, but I'm thinking that I'm gonna end the video here and I see you in my next video. Please let me know what kind of videos you would like uh, in the comments below because I have like a zero ideas of what to do. So please let me know what you would like to see. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on the notification bell so you never miss a video with my face. See you in my next video. Love you. Bye. It doesn't even make sense. Why we try to fight it Every time that we touch The room caught on